from Scandinavian today. I am going to bake some really cute apple roses in uh, puff pastry. And uh, you can buy the puff pastry already in the store. It makes it a lot easier to make it that way. Or of course, you can go ahead and make your own. But uh, anyway, I'm showing you how I make them. And they're so cute and also delicious. So I think it's worth a try. So here you have the ingredients for my easy puff pastry. I have one and a third cup of ice cold butter, two cups of flour, and then I'm also going to use more flour when I'm going to roll out the puff pastry. I have half a teaspoon of salt, and then I have two thirds cup of ice cold water. I put some ice cubes in here, but just before I'm going to use it, uh, I'll take the ice cubes up and make sure I only have two thirds cup of ice cold water. Okay, so let's start it. And I'm cutting the two sticks of butter into small squares and then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator while I'm starting the process with the rest. So first of all, I'm going to slice the apples and then I'm going to cook them in about a third cup, a fourth cup of water, two tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of honey. So, like I said, first of all, let's finish the apples. So cut it in half and remove the center seeds. And then I'm slicing the apples extremely thin, as thin as you can, simply. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do with all three of them. And then I'm going to cook them for a couple of minutes in the water with the sugar and the honey. So I'm adding the two tablespoons of sugar to the water as well as a little bit of honey, about a tablespoon of honey. And actually I'm also going to add a little bit of lemon juice. I just squeeze some lemon juice in here. I'm half a lemon and I'm adding the apple slices and I'm going to let them cook for about uh, two to three minutes the moment the water is, is uh, boiling I need to cook for about up, up to three minutes I'm going to put on a lid. So the apples have been cooking for about three minutes and they are soft now. I'm going to let them cool down. And I'm rolling out my, in Danish it's called Buddha dye, or in English it's called puff pastry. Uh, you can of course buy it already pre-made in the store or make it yourself. And the, the recipe for this will be on our blog, so you can go there and look for it. So I cut the dough into strips and they're about 2 inches wide and about 10 inches long. I'm now going to sprinkle it with cinnamon and also sugar before I roll up the apples in them. So here I'm adding the cinnamon. Here comes the sugar. So I continue with all the strips. And I'll get the cinnamon on there. And of course you can pre-mix the cinnamon and the sugar. It makes it easier, I guess. And now I'm going to roll up the apple slices and uh, line them up. It takes a while to get them all lined up, but it's worth it because it's very pretty. They're adorable, I think. Okay, so now I'll roll this one up. And 
and here we have one of them all done and I put them in my muffin pan I already sprayed the muffin pan with oil and also uh, dusted it with flour so now I'm going to fill it up with my apple roses and we go on to the next one And here you see my apple roses all finished and I'm going to sprinkle them with a little sugar before I stick them in the oven. If you care for you can also sprinkle cinnamon on top, sugar and cinnamon. It's your choice. But here they are. And I will put them in the oven. I have the oven set at 375. And I'll be back in about 12 minutes to check the on them. The apple roses are in the oven. And uh, as you can tell, I have nine apple roses. Here you see my apple roses. And uh, they were baking for 30 minutes. It depends on how thick you make the dough. So make sure you check on it after I say 10 20 minutes and see if you need to bake them any longer but this is how they turned out for me and I think they look delicious I let them cool down a little bit before I start eating them so here the apple rose and I can now have a bite it's so pretty that I almost don't want to stick my teeth into them but anyway I have to do it Mm -hmm. can taste the apple and the cinnamon and uh, the dough everything tastes good and I'm sure you will like them too today I'm going to make some really cute apple rose tarts I am going to use uh, some dough I bought pre-made at the store if you don't have that, go ahead and use your favorite pie crust. That will work just as fine. But today I happen to have the pre-made dough in my refrigerator, so I thought, okay, let's use it. So let's get started. The apple was set tarts. I'm first of all going to cook the apples. Here we have two apples. We have a quarter cup of water, two tablespoons of sugar, and one tablespoon of honey. So let's start preparing the apples. I'm, peel, I'm going to slice them extremely thin. So first I slice the apple in half. And of course you need a really sharp knife for this. And now I can slice it in really thin, extremely thin slices. Because it makes it easier after you have it cooked to make the resets. You can see nice thin slices like that. Okay, that's all you have to do. So here I have all the apples in the pot and I added uh, the two tablespoons of sugar as well as the honey and a quarter cup of water. So now I can put the lid on and let it cook for a couple of minutes. Well, I would say anywhere from three to five minutes till all the apple slices are soft. The apple slices are soft now and I'm going to let them cool down while I am rolling out the puff pastry. Here I have puff pastry I bought in the store. I have eight ounces. Today I decided to use that instead of making it myself and I'm going to roll it out while the apple slices are cooling down. So I'll roll it out and it's about 10 inches long. And uh, let's see. Oh, maybe we can get out of this. So I rolled out the dough and now I'm going to mix a quarter cup of sugar with a tablespoon of cinnamon and I'm going to sprinkle that on the dough. 
before I add the apples. Sprinkle it all over. Gives it a nice flavor. I like cinnamon a lot. And of course, it's also healthy for us. Okay, there we are. And then let's roll it out a little bit more before I cut it out in circles. And I cut out the dough in circles. It's about three inches in diameter. And then I add them to a little paper cup. There we go, Fit, fits in nicely there. So I'll cut them all out. And here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So take about seven slices of apples and then line them up and then roll it up gently. So you get the shape of a rose and then put it in, in the baking form here. Stick it in here and it fits nicely like that. So that's what I'm doing to all of them. And here we come with another one. Just keep lining it up. And they're easy to roll up because they're soft. one up. And I've heated the oven up to 375 and I'm going to bake them for about 12 minutes. Here we have another one and I think they are cute. So I'll finish up the tray. Okay. The oven has been heated up to 375 and I put in the apple tarts now. And I'll check back in about 11, 12 minutes. And here we have the rose tarts out of the oven. And I decided to brush them a little bit with some raspberry jam. Of course, you don't really need to do that, but it kind of, kind of makes them look pretty in a certain way. Oh, I should mention to you that I heated up the raspberry jam in the microwave just for about a minute. And I can now taste one of my rose tarts. They're all ready. Enjoy. So here in front of me, I have those gorgeous apple rose tarts. I think they're so pretty. It's almost a shame to eat it, but why not? I made it to be eaten, so here we go. Mm hmm it's good. Yeah, I like it a lot. Very nice. And uh, I mean, like I said, they're absolutely gorgeous to look at and nice to eat. So hopefully you will also enjoy it. Skål and please subscribe to our channel. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you another day.